Good morning. I am Columbia Daily Tribune City Editor Matt Sanders. With me is our higher ed and state government reporter Rudy Keller. Good morning. He actually uh, had a chance yesterday evening to do a little reporting on each of those little beats that he does. Uh, Rudy was at a uh, hearing of an appropriations subcommittee in the House yesterday down in Jefferson City. Um, what did they discuss? Well, the, it was an opportunity for some public testimony before the committee, before they get, a, get the budget from the governor. And what they heard was that tuition increases are likely to be higher this year than they have been in, in previous years. Some schools are already enacting mid-year tuition increases mm -hmm. because of the budget withholdings imposed by Governor Greitens. Lynn State, right? Lynn State. It's not. It's Missouri State Technical. The oh, State Technical College right. of Missouri yeah. and Lynn is yeah. the, is the real name. That's the new name. Yeah. But the president hasn't um, decided whether or not he's actually going to charge the students who are already in their seats this extra mm -hmm. money, because it would only cover about uh, one eighth of the cut that the governor made. Okay. The bigger picture story is that tuition increases will be allowed to go up as much as two percent this year based on inflation and many schools are likely to seek waivers to go above that level because the likelihood of a funding increase in the state is very low is what the mm. committee chairman said yeah. so i would expect that we would have pretty significant tuition increases and a, and a muted reaction from legislators who know that they don't have any money to give the schools and to replace that tuition money, so. Yeah, the uh, the message thus far from the highest level of state government, the governor's office, all the way down to our local governments has been that belt tightening is on the way and that uh, revenue is not looking good and so the budget picture is not gonna look good. So everybody's preparing for that. We actually have another story related to that today. Uh, in his first round of budget withholdings, some of the money that uh, Governor Greitens withheld was for uh, programs to help people indigent people getting out of prison to re-enter society. Uh, one of those, uh, that cut actually affected one of our local organizations, a place called Into Action, and you can read a little bit more about how that's affecting them later on on our website and in our newspaper. Uh, other stuff that we're working on today, Roger's got a, Roger McKinney, our K-12 through education reporter, has a pretty interesting little story about some kids at a local private school who got together to uh, do something good for uh, kids who really need it. Uh, you can, I won't tell you any more so we can keep you in suspense. So uh, be sure to check that out later. Um, also, we have uh, some interesting news about a roundabout that's just a few months old. Uh, the uh, somewhat loathed dog bone roundabout at Rangeline and I-70 of the Bicycle and Pedestrian Commission uh, is saying that uh, it's not necessarily bicycle friendly and they would like some uh, improvements there. Of course, it was just built, so the chances that MoDOT will want to actually make a change are probably pretty slim, but you can read more about that later as well. As always, you can reach us on our social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, uh, and by email, 